Hey parents, it's Miss Cross here. Uh, just going to go over the residential trip with you. Um, if you were unable to make our meeting on uh, Monday morning, this is the PowerPoint we went over with all the dates and costs and things. So I'm just going to talk through it very briefly. So as you can see, it is at Grosvenor Hall in Kent, Ashford, and it's from Monday the 26th of June to Friday the 30th of June. The children will come to school a little bit earlier on the Monday morning and we aim to be back early to mid afternoon on the Friday. So Kingswood has been running for over 35 years. Um, they have numerous school trips and residentials um, a year. They also have a lot of people going from NCS, the National Citizen Service, um, Scouts, Guides and things like that. Um, over 175,000 young people visit. There, it is a big site with lots of different activities and it's the perfect environment to develop positive mindsets, improve well-being and encourage self-belief. This is a picture of the entrance to Grosvenor Hall. Um, it is a fully contained site, so safety is obviously a high priority. Um, there are, last year when we went there, were about eight other schools there at the same time as us. Um, but it is a fully contained site, so no one can go in or out unless they are allowed. What Kingswood and us at AJK are aiming to develop, we really want to develop the children's post, uh, personal and social development skills. We want their self-confidence to increase. We want them to get better at team building and problem solving. We want them to have new skills and experiences, be aware of their safety, build new friendships with each other and perhaps people from other schools have a sense of personal achievement at overcoming obstacles they might not have even known that they had, creating memories and of course having fun. These are really really important things which we will experience on the residential. So the centre you can see here it's quite a small map but it's just showing you the expanse of it. They have big big grounds to account for um, activities such as archery, buggy building, rock climbing, indoor roller skating, lots of different things. Uh, you can see there's a lake as well um, uh, for perhaps some swimming activities. Um, I think it's more kind of be build a, build a buggy um, and see if it floats. Um, we didn't do that last year. Um, I'm not sure if that's something we would be doing this year. But uh, as you can see, there are lots of different um, activity stations all around the site. So they get lots of walking in on a daily basis. So here's a couple of examples of the activities. Um, so we've got the giant 3D swing, abseiling, archery and buggy building. And laser tag, nightline, which is a personal favourite of mine, rock climbing and crate stacking. Here are some learning outcomes that Kingswood aim to deliver. So they use play, discovery, exploring, challenging, adrenaline and reflection to be able to deliver mental and physical well-being, curriculum links, environmental awareness and improved attainment. The three things, if, they, if we could sum up residential, if they could sum up residential, would be confidence, life skills and resilience. These are the things that we really want to install in our children who are going on the residential. We want to build their confidence, we want to enhance their life skills and we want them to build on their resilience. So a little bit more about the centre, sleeping arrangements, they have dormitories. Um, they range from twin rooms to eight rooms. Um, if you are in a twin room, we have communal bathrooms, um, showers and toilets. If you are in a bigger dormitory, like a six or eight person dormitory, they have um, ensuite showers and toilets. These accommodations are basic so please make sure your child is aware they are very basic when they get there the rooms will look exactly as shown in the picture they will have to make their own beds we do not help them do that they need to work it out for themselves help each other it's their first bit of teamwork um, and showing that they can work together they need to put in their pillowcases their sheets their duvets and everything like that we do allow um, children to bring in their own sleeping bags if they'd like, but everything has to fit in one suitcase. So um, the uh, supplies which are given are absolutely adequate. It's just if they want to bring something else, um, they would need to make sure they fit it in their suitcase. Eating, there is a buffet. Um, so there's a big canteen, so you get certain times to go for your meals and they will be 
breakfast, lunch and dinner all in the same place and there's a buffet, so a range of things. All dietary requirements are catered for as well as halal. Um, it's a really good experience. They get to, um, again, meet new people during this. There's a salad bar, which is always interesting to see who goes up to that salad bar. Um, they definitely get enough food as well, so do not worry about that. So safety at Kingswood is obviously a high priority. Um, this COVID policy is actually from last year. Um, you know, hoping, hoping, hoping that um, COVID will not rear its ugly head again by the time we go. Um, so there shouldn't be any changes to this. Um, they are, all of their um, instructors are all first aid trained. They have a first aid thing on site as well. Um, PPE is always given to children and instructors when they're doing any activities, whether it's arm guards for archery or helmets um, for rock climbing and things like that. So nitty gritty stuff, the cost of the trip. So the cost of the trip is £394 per child per plus coach cost. Or if your child receives pupil premium, it's £355 plus coach cost. We are in the process at the moment of finalising the coach cost. It should be done in the next couple of days. A Microsoft Forms letter will be sent out once we have finalised the coach cost so it can give you the complete total number. OK, we will give you one week to register your interest. So please ignore the date Monday the 14th, as obviously that would meant the form needed to be sent out yesterday. Whenever the form does set out today, tomorrow, I'm hoping you will have a whole week to re register your interest. There is a week's deadline to register an interest. After this deadline, if there are more than 70 uh, children interested, we will pay, pull names out of a hat. OK, we will contact Kingswood to see if we can have any more places given to us. However, we have been given 70. June is a very busy season. As you can imagine, everyone wants to go on the residential when it's nice and sunny. So it might be 70 is all we get, but we will be asking whether we can get more. If we can only have 70, we will pull all the names of the people who have been registered in interest out of a hat. We will then have the people who are left over on a waiting list. So again, we will pull those names out of a hat and put them in that order on a waiting list. And then if people don't put in the deposit by the deadline of Wednesday, the 30th of November, then they will be taken off the list and someone from the waiting, waiting list will be moved to the 70 places list. So I'll just go through that again. You will have one week from when the Microsoft form interest letter is sent out to express an interest. You fill it in to say your child's name, any dietary requirements, medical requirements to express your interest in attending the residential. Once this deadline has passed after one week, we will go through and if there are more than 70 children wanting a place, we will pull all the names out of a hat. Any children who do not get pulled out of the hat in the first 70 will go on a waiting list and then if people do not pay the £100 deposit by Monday, the, uh, Wednesday, sorry, the 30th of November, we will then take them off that 70 list and put someone from the waiting list into the big pool of 70. Parent pay will not be available to pay the deposit until we have a finalised list of 70. Then we will open up parent pay so that the deposit of £100 can be put in by Wednesday, the 30th of November. You will either be able to pay the full amount in one go or you can follow the payment plan suggested um, in the letter that is given to you once your child has received a place. This can range from paying anywhere between 50 to 75 to 100 pounds a month. Finally, what to pack? So a full kit list will be provided in plenty of time prior to this trip. OK, it's usually given um, around just after SATs. Um, so you have plenty of time to get things ready. Parents should not have to buy anything new for the trip. 
Children will be wearing jogging bottoms, children will be getting sweaty, muddy, dirty, all of the above. So there should not be any need to buy anything new for the trip. All valuables need to stay at home. There are no electronics, including phones, on the trip. Children can bring disposable cameras to take pictures. They can bring digital cameras, but they need to not have a Wi-Fi connection, purely for safeguarding reasons uh, whilst we are away. There will be some spending money that children can bring. We um, say between 10 and 20 pounds, absolutely no more than 20. Uh, there is a little tuck shop on site so they can buy sweets and drinks for our disco night. They can also buy cuddly toys, bouncy balls, things like that, souvenirs um, as well. Contacting your child, emergency numbers will be given to um, staff who are attending on the trip. So we can get in contact with you if we need to. Daily text messages will be sent out by the office. Um, we on the residential will contact the office and Miss Thornton will send out a text message so that parents stay up to date with what we are doing. We will also be putting uh, daily pictures up on Class Dojo for you to see. You will not be able to contact your child during this week and we do not let the children contact you. Uh, we do have some cases of people feeling a little bit homesick, but after usually about an hour of the first night everyone is having a whale of a time the reason they are in dormitories is so they can help and support each other for children that do feel a little bit homesick so we have never had a big issue with this before so please do not worry but we will be limiting contact so that your child gets to experience the full experience of the residential taking care of themselves getting themselves showered and dressed making sure they brush their teeth eating appropriately um, and taking care of themselves. Most year six adults will be attending the trip, so most year six teachers um, and support staff. There will be other support staff from the school attending as well. Obviously, we won't know the exact uh, names of who they are until closer to the time. So please do not worry about that. The main thing I just want to focus on is just when you, when you receive the Microsoft Forms letter, if your child is interested, if you are interested, please express an interest um, and then we will go from there. And any questions, please contact myself, Miss Bellu or Miss Amsa on Class Dojo and we will get back to you as soon as we can or we will let you know if we need to find out the answer. Once again, we are just waiting for the coach cost to come through. It should be very, very soon and then we will be able to send out the final total amount uh, and you can start expressing an interest and we can get the ball rolling. Thank you very much for listening.